Yeah, OK. Well, we are about to get underway with the second semi-final. Kirsty, thank you for coming in and, and joining us. Uh, go and enjoy your, your chilling out. You, you don't have to worry. <laughs> we'll find out who you'll play in that final. Cheers. And we'll see you in a few hours. Thank you very much. And we are fully underway then. Our second semi-final race to seven, 50 minutes for a place in the final against Kirsty Lee Davies. It's Harriet Haynes who lost in event one final up against Emma Cunningham. It's the number two seed. Emma Cunningham, of course, the four times world champion. A big match up here. And Simon Webb and Mark Shepard with you for this one. I think this is going to be a big encounter, Mark. I think the way that Harriet's been going throughout the weekend, she's really been kind of on the front foot, taking out finishes. And we saw Emma sort of come through a little bit earlier on in a, a slightly different style than we're used to from her. Yeah, we were talking last week about whether this was time for her to come back into it. Emma's been at the top of the game for a long time, but perhaps not quite hitting the heights last season. Seeded sick, so it's not like she slipped way off the mark, but... Been watching Amy Beecham and Harriet share up most of the trophies between them. Get the feeling she's maybe coming back into top form. And yeah, maybe just playing her way into it. I mean, normally she's known for a very attacking pool. Maybe she just reined it in slightly. As has Harriet, really. I think you were saying earlier the fact she's played on the Pro Series kind of toughened her game up a bit. I think she's got a much more all-round game. I've really seen a massive improvement, really. I mean, she's always been a player that capable of taking out big finishes. But I think almost in year one of Ultimate Pool, it felt that Harriet was trying to bully her opponents and was just going to go at all costs. Oh, there's a poor miss here in the opening frame for her. But I think with her stepping into the pro ranks, I think she's realised she can't do that. You know, if you don't get them in the pro ranks, you are going to lose every match you play if you keep going and don't get you know you're not getting them you have to have a B game and I think she's really added that she's got a much more all round game yeah I mean that's the advantage of playing top quality opposition all the time and also now we've got the women's pro series the 32 players in this event are, are all good match players last year the format was such that there was a group stage where you were potentially going to have a few weaker players in the mix it was a great format because it let everybody have a go and get a few matches. But it meant that for the likes of Emma and Harriet, that group stage was almost just a formality to get through and then their tournament started. Now they're, they're playing each other a bit more often in the earlier rounds. Tough, should toughen everyone's game up. Great chance this for Emma. Harriet had kind of done all the hard work in that frame. She did. She'd had a good touch with the cannon, she smashed into the balls and everything turned out nice. Just couldn't quite take advantage. Perfect position now, just drop the key ball over to the left hand cushion for the ball up the rail, then the last red to the centre. Knows she needs to get off to a good start. In the last season or two, Harriet's been starting to have the upper hand. Emma's not won as much as she had in the previous seasons, but I don't think it's going to take much. I sort of feel if she starts winning one or two events, suddenly she could get back to that form of a few years ago when she was winning everything in sight. Not able to get quite behind the eight ball, but it shouldn't be a problem. Take it from mid-distance. Very smooth counter clearance for Emma. Just nice start to the match. Harriet's one of that pack of players that came through. Helped by that break, which has generally been pretty consistent for her, but this time good split and no balls down. Yeah, 
And you know that Emma's going to want to take these on. Very aggressive player, but it's a good chance. Emma, I think, has experienced the same as Harriet. Playing on the Pro Series, realisation that you can't just blast everyone away. If you're going to go for a clearance, you've got to get it. She's had a lot of near misses. Felt like her first year on the Pro Series, she had so many near misses against good players. And if she'd maybe just won a couple of those, I think that could have been a very different last year or two. Those scars start adding up after a while. There was maybe some element of just turning up and sort of going through the motions with some matches, whereas a bit more purposeful as we kick off this new season. And all the players have got to be enjoying this bright new dawn, this women's pro series. It's just such a great chance. I mean, we've seen the action all the way from the last 16, so there's only 32 players in it. There's only one round played on the outside tables and then on centre stage for all the rest today. And in event one, we saw quarterfinals onwards. It's been, you know, it is fantastic to see. Oh, Emma's just got a line wrong there. Slightly shorter pace. Don't know whether the yellow in the triangle area just needs a little bump or whether she's happy with it to get underneath it. Grimace tells us it doesn't go in the centre. I don't think it ever was going in the centre. She was playing for it in the corner. Quite a good angle if she does want to go into it, but you always take some element of chance. Just have to cut the ball along the rail, play with side, deciding just to settle for what she's got, try and drop in behind it. Just looking at where she wants to leave the cue ball. She's not going to be able to get the cue ball far off the cushion. Should be able to leave the pot itself straight and with just a slight angle maybe to come over for the eight ball. Quite a big shot early in this match to get the 2-0 lead. Yeah, it's very important this. It's only one ball, but it could change the, the way the next part of the match goes. She wasn't ultimately that close to it. And as we saw in the first frame, if you're going to miss towards the end of a clearance, you're going to turn over an open table most of the time. Yeah, almost the exact opposite the mirror image of the opening frame isn't it Harriet all the way down to the last ball missed and Emma's done exactly the same Harriet has the chance for a smooth counter clearance and that has been a tale for both of them against less good opposition they've been getting away with these and they've been getting given these chances they've both been on the wrong end of these kind of clearances in a few matches recently Harriet had the better first tournament, so she spent a bit more time out in this arena. But Emma, with the entire field, has spent so much time out in these kind of arenas, it's not like it's going to be a surprise for her. We commentated on the match involving Amy Beecham earlier on, which took 50 minutes to reach a 4-3 scoreline. I didn't expect it to happen in this one, but I certainly think here they're, they're getting off to a quicker start. Yeah, especially between Amy and Kirsty, who are kind of fairly relentless at the first, vi uh, first visits. Uh, sometimes the balls dictate. But here, it's been open chances. It's just been a mistake apiece, and we're on one all. They both go for the cut break. Both do it slightly differently. This one's successful, but the grimace on the face tells us that Emma's not happy with the layout that she has. Yeah, didn't quite catch it as clean as she can, actually. It's not bad. It, there is definitely a chance of finish here. She can track all the way to the top of the table here on the first shot. Don't land straight and you'll be good. Just enough turn of angle here to get the cue ball back out. The one below the eight ball goes right centre, so it's just the two at the bottom. It's just, do you want to come down for the for the plant, which probably be the easiest way of dealing with it, or take the one near the pocket first and track back to it, which could be quite tricky. Very experienced player, sometimes does let the cue ball run a bit. She's a good enough potter that she doesn't always have to play a completely precise position. This is a clearance where you don't really want the cue ball flying around unnecessarily. It's 
quite specific places you need to be for each of the shots. Oh, big error. Big error from Emma. Yeah, what she left. Looks at first glance like she's left everything. because She's left Harry on the difficult one up this rail. Then got a natural ball over the middle to play on next. Well, big error straight back. She left her about as nicely on that ball as she could possibly have hoped for. Yeah, you can never take those for granted, but really shocked to see that one missed. Not sure if this red goes in the centre pocket. It's very tight. Yeah, it was tight. If it was that tight, was there another option? Could she have taken it long? Possibly. Now, Harry in something resembling a practice position. She's got the balls lined up at the bottom of the table. Two at the top link up nicely as well. And actually played a great first shot, but luckily for her, the balls are so well spread out, it doesn't matter too much. Well, this is a poor one. Comes too far across. Could be a reroute. Could still clip this back, but... Harry is on the one bottom right. I'm going to continue with the one in the middle. Desperately wanted to move that one in the middle because she was nicely on it. But I think that can sometimes be the case. You've played for a ball and you get committed to it. Not turned out too bad though. She's got a shot to the left middle. Double kiss helped, didn't it? That may have helped, but still no reward. Turn into one of those matches where one player misses a ball and suddenly it sets the pattern for everybody else to do the same. Considering these are two of the best players of all time, it's looking a little bit ragged at the moment. Missed that red to the left centre a minute ago. I think she's got a bit more space for it this time. Gonna go right centre first, of course. And if that's the case, she's going to be leaving the plant as the last two balls. You're going to want to be pretty straight on it to make sure. Yeah, you want to be straight so you can guarantee where you leave the second ball. You don't want the cue ball flying around the table. This looks pretty good. There's a bit of distance between the balls, so it's got to be made, but not quite a natural angle just to play the white on and off the bottom cushion. Well, you wouldn't exactly say she's powered over the line in this frame, but it looks like she's got a chance to fall over the line now. All that matters is getting over the line, though. Yeah, and it's much easier to put the mistakes out of your mind when you're the one that gets the one on your side of the score sheet. So, Emma Cunningham does get over the line eventually. 2-1 now. And titles on the line. Semi-finals in happening at the moment. Finals to come up later on. In fact, we have a final coming up after this match. We might not have a final ready, though, because <laughs> unfortunately, Rab McGulloch has ended up in the... Well, fortunately for him, but for us, he's in the semi-final of Event 2 and in the final of um, Event 1. So he, he needs a semi-final that he's playing right now to finish so he can be ready for his final. And, of course, he may play the straight match afterwards and play another final, so <laughs> could be a very big day for Rab. Having said, no one's going to repeat the achievements of last season when Connor Tracy and David Hogan went two wins in a season. Connor Tracy doing his back-to-back. -back. That is a feat that Rab McCulloch is still on course to equal. Every bit as much of an achievement this season, because even though we've split the field in half, so there's less people... We've put all the all the best ones in one group, so Rab's come through a, a pretty tough field. 160 man tier one field. He also had to do it the hard way. Had a six red shootout last night. Pretty good shot that from Emma. Got the balls exactly where she wants them at the moment. Balls over both of the bottom corner pockets. All the yellows in open play. Oh, it needs to mess this up somehow. This is not a table she can afford to hand back over to Emma. She's got to make something happen. Well, tried to play.
by a loss of turn. Hasn't managed that. And even if she had, it wasn't like it was a great position to be leaving. Assume she was trying to pot that. Normally the conventional shot would be too. I suppose you could say that given how good a table she's left, she might actually prefer the red there. Emma pushes a ball onto the jaw. Not as costly as it might be in other positions because all these yellows do still go and the reds most definitely don't. There's a frame where Emma Cunningham currently holds a pretty handy lead. As much positive that Harriet can do right now. Tried the loss of turn on the other side of the table. That one's worked better, but still. Good finish here if Emma wants to go for it. She's got plenty of ball she can play onto the combination in the bottom left corner. Can either run the white onto it at some stage or plant another yellow onto it. position but still in with a good shout yeah very doable oh no strange shot must have been trying to avoid the eight ball had to play the the breakout there running out of balls when she started this clearance there were a few ways into this cluster over the bottom left but not too many good options from where she is right now continue with the clearance but she's going to finish a bit straight on the ball to the left centre strange as it may seem if that if she pops this yellow it could be a re-rack I'm not sure there's a gap through yeah and given the way this has turned out maybe that would be the safer option although she's in she's in such a tempting looking position it's just she's struggling to exploit it at the moment Got to try and find a way, maybe to screw into it. You can't pot this and screw into it. I don't think you can double it and screw into it. So maybe just try and screw into it, yellow into the jaw, and then you're gambling, really. Oh well, that's what she tried. She actually won't be that sorry that it stayed because she wasn't going to be on the other ball. Yeah, I think you're right. I think she did have the option of the re-rack. I mean, I suppose she just felt she had a tactical advantage, but that tactical advantage is going to get eroded now. It was such a strange shot for Emma when she had the opportunity to just stump past the eight ball. Because she's it was such a misjudgment if she did try and do that. Yeah, now the game has turned right around because even though I think she can see the thin edge of this yellow, if she doesn't pot it, Harriet's got access to pretty much all the reds. And maybe she can't see it. it did come off the cushion. <coughs> Well, the tactical advantage she had has completely evaporated now. Harriet can do whatever she wants, really. If she wants to bide her time and tidy these balls up before going for a clearance, she can do that. Well, the balls went, so no need even to do that. This is going to be one that got away if Emma does lose this frame. Let's just show how you sometimes just have to hang around in a frame. There was a period when Harriet didn't really seem like she was doing much. Didn't seem like she could do much. Patience has paid off, though. The match proceeding at a slightly quicker pace than the Amy Beach and Kirsty Lee Davis, but maybe not quite as quick as we'd have predicted. It's still going to take 20-odd minutes to play the first four frames. And the first two were fairly quick. They were attempted first visits and a counter clearance. The next two, a little bit more play in them. Next time she turns up in Blackpool, it's hard to be in too positive a mindset. Good break, though. Really gets into the break. He drives the cue down onto the table. 
just needs to start being a little bit more precise. Her potting's been very good, but it's just a slight lack of precision in amongst the balls so far. Speaking of which, she seems to have immediately drifted out of optimum position. Kirsty Lee Davis already in the final, so some time to relax before that final is played. Got a couple of challenger finals between this match and that final, so it'll be a little bit of time, around 8 o'clock it's scheduled for. Kind of nice in a way to have a bit of time. I mean, sometimes it is good just to go straight in, you're already warmed up. But it doesn't hurt to have a bit of time to savour the moment. Two equal opportunities, two women's pro series tournaments this weekend, both the same ranking points and same prize money. Emma still going after this. It's not made it look totally straightforward, but she's kept finding a way. She's got the one ball that's tied up, the left hand of the ones at the bottom of the table. Can go after it now, cut it across the table. They come quite close to potting the other red with the white onto yellow as well. Well, she was always going to come close to that. I think you possibly had to play it in such a way that you played position for the ball up the table in case you did pop both. Not that that was easy to judge, given that she was playing one ball off another. Not a great outcome, though. been the tail of the tape so far. Both players getting in first and then running out of position. Can she get through to this thin clip? Yeah, Just good. overdone the cue ball, needs to pull up. It's not going to. Might have even gone too far for the easy one cushion. Maybe just, no, she still has it. Has just there, so it's still doable, this shot. It's gone from obviously guaranteed to low percentage. Kind of feels like back to back frames where she's had the clearance in the palm of her hand and not been able to complete the clearance. You'd always rather be the player in second, and that's been the equation so far. We've got an easy opening pot. She can cut one of these balls in at the top of the table, or she can try and play a safety. Or she can come down the table. She's going to go full-blooded for this. She's got to commit to it. That's a surprise to me. Was that necessary? You've got complete control of the frame. I know she's a, it's the way she likes to go about it and really take it to her opponent, but that was a fairly controllable snooker just to drop in. Well, it seemed like one of the few ways you could risk losing the frame was to go after that ball and miss it. When it happened, she actually left it about as hard as she could do, but she couldn't be certain where the white was going to end up. Yeah, and the problem here is the, the in-off is on. You can make the pot okay, but it's in-off. No, it was <laughs> in-off anyway. I mean, she's missed that by a long, long way. But raising the butt of the queue, trying to widen everything. The ball in hand has made a difference there. Harriet's got a couple of tricky balls. The ball in hand helps her to get straight after one of them. Screws back into the other. Did she get through to the one nearest the pocket or is she going to have to play a plant here? Yeah, there was no guarantee of being on anything there, playing that shot. Unless she's just happy with the plant. Oh, she may have been happy with it, she's not made it. So a third opportunity for Emma Cunningham. This match is getting very scrappy now. These are two great players, but they're throwing chances around like you'd see at a much lower level of the game. I can tell by the way Emma's looking that the double might not be on. So it's the treble. And this is the easiest of the three chances she's had to win the frame already, and it's a treble. Oh, that's 
gone about as badly wrong as it could. So, Harriet, yet another lifeline. Can she make it count this time? Yeah, just got the line wrong on that one. Yeah. The only good thing, she couldn't get out. She left her hurry away where she could not get the cue ball out. It was going to go into the eight ball. And it's another one that's gone. It's got edgy out there all of a sudden, hasn't it? This is very strange. Yeah, I mean, once one person starts missing, this is just how it goes sometimes. I don't think it had to be like this. The way the match started, it felt like it wasn't going to be. But just chances being flicked back and forth. Emma does finally get the black down to her immense relief, you assume. Just over halfway through the match now in terms of time. They were near halfway through the match in terms of frames played. This could turn around very quickly. I think it would just take a, a clearance from the break maybe just to get them back into a normal way of playing. At this kind of level, you can't expect to be getting three, four, five chances a frame. Oh, that's another poor shot from Harriet, though. She was dropping that in, and I think the plan was then to play the three-ball plant, or could have gone top left and, and come across the table to develop the, the yellow to top right, which is the only bad ball she has, and she's landed on nothing. It's as poor as any of the misses that she's had or in the match. Yeah, the players have got to cut this out. You'd think eventually you'd get jolted into just thinking you've got to focus a bit more. I mean, what's that as well? Seems a, a fairly nothing you shot. I mean, you don't want to pile into them. Obviously, we understand the pressure they're under out in this arena, but it's a sign of the quality of the players normally that we're surprised by this level that they've turned up with today. I don't know if Kirsty Lee Davis is going to be watching this, but she's not going to mind what she's seeing so far if these are going to be her two final opponents. Yeah, I think she'll be pretty happy. It would be interesting. I mean, she's never going to say, I did interview her, obviously you were, you were here, and she's never going to say who she wants to play. Uh, she did play Harriet in event one, and it didn't go her way. Maybe she wants a, a crack at a little bit of revenge on the weekend, or maybe she just wants somebody completely different. Yeah, it wasn't a great match that one against Harriet. I don't think either player will be delighted. Kirsty's played much better today. She just didn't quite turn up. I mean, it was actually a match sort of ended up getting a bit like this. There were just a few too many silly mistakes from both of the players. I don't think there's necessarily much love lost between Kirsty and Harriet. I think they both do want to beat each other. They played an amazing final of the miniseries where Kirstie Davis just went a little bit wild and just kept on taking every finish when he really took it to Harry. It was a, a brilliant performance. Took down the title. Incredible style. Right now, the chances are coming thick and fast for both players. You could easily play entire pro matches without anywhere near this many chances. Already in frame six, they've both been to the table well into double figures times. Whenever I, I see a match like this, I always think the, the player can just steady themselves and find a couple. You, you, they've got an opportunity to steal a little bit of a march, and, and Emma's in exactly that position right now. The, she's got these absolutely as she wants them. This should be a two-frame advantage. And when she was winning her world title, she knew how to manage a match. She put pressure on your opponent. When they make a mistake, you show them who's boss. Really needs to do that. She's got a single-frame lead now. She can make it two. She can give Harriet a lot to think about because Harriet sitting in a chair, frankly, could have won every one of the frames we've played so far. Well, that's better. That's a better piece of queuing. Obviously, a simple enough positional shot, but struck it well. Is this what Emma needs to settle down? Two frame cushion now. Well, looked like she was building up some momentum. Is that ball going to go in? That's potted a red. This would be a good frame to win. It's just been too scrappy. It's taken too much out of each player winning each of the frames. Just needs to get some momentum going. 
And of course, because they've burnt off so much time with some of those scrappy frames, any lead becomes a big one at this point. It's going to either be three frames or one frame after this one that Emma holds the advantage. When she's playing at her best, you'd say this is the kind of finish she's going to make a pretty high percentage of the time. Run the ball into the right centre, cue ball up for the one second one to the same pocket, and then access to the ones down the right hand side. The way today's gone, neither player's cue ball has been completely on a string. Well, went a different way, similar effect. She needs to get access to the balls on the right hand side. Yeah, I think if she takes that in the right centre pocket, she tracks too high to land straight on the one to right centre to get behind these two. So, took the chance to get there there. And as long as she can just nip past the yellow to play both of the ones on the right back to back here, she's just about okay as long as she can get back up off the one bottom left. Mm, not sure that's going to work. No, she had to clear the two on the right hand side first. I don't know if she was thinking she could flick it out to leave it in the centre, but that hasn't worked at all. So now she's going to have to have a second go at it. She's really chasing this finish now. So it must go in the centre, the way she looked at it, but very tough. How on earth does she get position? Not sure really at this point what she can do, bar commit to the pot and just hope that the white does come out in a good spot. Don't think she can really control this well enough to be certain where the white's going to be. Well that's good. Is the white going to pull up in time? No. This feels very much like a previous frame, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, hasn't this been the pattern of the match? Whoever's getting in first is just not getting the job done. a very hard way to win pool matches if you have this much effort in every frame constantly out of position and this is a high tariff shot as well <laughs> <laughs> that was outrageous to try and make that off the jaw that really was nearly ended up being a trick shot of the wrong variety smashed into the eight ball how has that stayed on the table She'd be glad it has, because this isn't one of those ones where... Well, actually, now, with ball in hand, I was going to say, she had a ball tied up when we last saw the table. M may have a second chance, but she's, she's not going to have a second chance. So, in fact, the black going in or not hasn't really changed very much. Though even that almost went wrong. A little bit short. Harriet really hasn't settled out there, has she? This should have been a routine finish. Still should be fine, but struggling a bit for position. Well, very tough right now to call a winner. Emma's obviously still going to have that single frame lead. But still making too many errors to be certain of the win, as is her opponent. Two of the players that people were tipping to do well, but I mean, what a run. 190 players and such good players as well. Yeah, well 160 players, isn't it? 160 in tier two, 119 tier one, and 160 in tier two is my understanding. I haven't counted them. <laughs> there, there were a lot. We, we, a we lot. can verify there we're, were a lot. Yeah. We're, we're somewhere in the mid 500s in terms of total players throughout the weekend. That's why it's been a very busy weekend. Yeah. Trying to keep up to date with everything that's going on has been tough. Obviously, we've been focusing very much on the professionals on and the women's professionals. Could we well, I was going to say, could we finally see a first visit clearance? I mustn't jinx that. Harriet's managed to find the pocket with the cue ball. So... Usual pattern for the match. One player gets in first, makes a mess of it somehow. Again, slightly unexpected mess as well. Good chance for the counter clearance for Emma Cunningham. More often than not, she seems to have been the one that's been in first, but good chance with a bit of the traffic moved. Can't 
don't really see too many problems, but the way this match has gone, you, you'd hardly feel comfortable chalking up the win to the player when there's still this many balls on the table. Did the right thing there, even though it was a big pocket. It was important not to move the red that was over the left middle, so posted both of those clean. Landed pretty well on the only ball that could have been difficult to get on. Normally you're in this kind of position and you're almost trying to spin up some drama just to make it sound interesting, but today do you genuinely worry something might go wrong on a clearance like this? Yeah, imperative to, to leave the right last ball. There is enough room. Probably the only shot that can go wrong is not quite getting up far enough here, but it's perfect. Be a good moment to take a two-frame lead because the clock is winding down now. So much time has been wasted with the back and forth between the players. This is better from Emma Cunningham. This has been a much more precise finish. She's been in prime position the whole way through. Cued the balls well. She's looked purposeful. She's got to play one more shot to get onto the eight ball. Obviously does go past the yellow. If, if not cleanly, she can just run in off the side of the yellow. Oh, went in very easily in the end. Excellent clearance from Emma Cunningham. Yeah, I think if Emma makes it through, she'd be the marginal favourite for that match. Although you'd say Kirsty's probably had a, the better of, of it over the last year or so. Tough one to call. It would be a pretty even game. Of course, if Harriet makes the final, she will go into it as the, the favourite. She goes into pretty much every match she plays, apart from maybe one or two. Yeah, on paper, certainly, although based on the performance here, unless she's going to turn it around dramatically in the next ten minutes. That is true, yeah. Oh, good first shot. Got the cue ball out of the area without hitting anything, which was useful. This is the kind of finish normally you just look at the table thinking these are gone, but the way she's gone today, just not had the cue ball under enough control. This is also a finish where control is required. These balls have all got pockets, but need to hang on to the white, keep it in the middle of the table. And she's, as we say that, she's missed another inexplicable pot. It's quite incredible. Hard to really get ahead around what we're watching here. So oh, another look at this. I mean, look at this ball for a player of Harriet's quality. I mean, she was obviously just trying to pinch a bit of the pocket, but still. And this really is a key frame now for Emma. 6-3 would be a commanding lead the way this match has gone. Maybe enough to win the match, given the time remaining. Certainly enough to put a lot of pressure on her opponent. She could also do, even if she wins the match, with just building a bit of confidence. She doesn't really want to be falling over the line here. It would be nice to get something going. Turn up at that final looking like you mean business. She's going to play a shot here to get from top of the table down to the bottom. All her work's in this bottom right-hand corner. And that's better. That's just a much better bit of queuing. She just looked purposeful through that. Starting to look a bit more assured. It's the advantage of experience. Both of these players have been out in this arena and done this a lot. They've generally played well, but they also know how to win not playing well. Not bad. Well, a little bit to do positionally. She's got the balls open, but they only pot in a specific order, so still got to pick the pattern out. She's coming around to look at the options for the eight ball. It is a bit guarded where it currently is, and it's away from everything else. At the moment, she's got a reasonably comfortable amount of time. She's been around the table a few times lining these up, which you can do with the 30 seconds. Not far away from the quicker shot clock. The way she's played that says that the red must go in into the middle pocket off the yellow, which makes the finish easier. It 
Doesn't look likely. Oh, does it? It looks awkward. Looks like it's going to hit the jaw and stay out. No, I had to take it long. I mean, it never looked like it went in the middle. It's just she, she played it with such confidence for a straight shot in the middle. You, you felt like that must have been what she'd played, but she's picked out a good recovery shot. Not a good angle here. Maple's very guarded. Is that not much room for bottom left if that's what she's looking at? So we're about to hear the chimes. We are going into the 15 second shot clock portion of the match. This doesn't look good. Is she going to come far enough? Oh, is she on it? used her extension, so she's going to have to play it quickly, whatever she plays. I think she can see the potting angle, therefore the combination might be on. Oh, it's squeezed in, what a shot. What, what an incredible out from <laughs> Cunningham. It's a long way back from here for Harriet. She needs a quick clearance off her own break. She can't afford to get involved in any more scrappy frames. She's failed with the basics of that. Open table handed over. Well, it has been a very bad day at the office so far for Harriet. Emma has had some bad moments, but she's also had some good moments, and she has definitely grown as the match has continued. This sort of layout, forget the match clock. Just make the clearance, win the match. Yeah, I mean she just wants to get it done here. She doesn't want to get involved in anything. Has that gone too far? Knuckle in the way or is she okay? She's just okay. She certainly yeah. ran it close though. You would have wanted a, a few turns of angle actually on the on this one. Now having to pull it back and won't be straight enough to drop it in, I don't think, unless she wants to screw all the way back for the top right. Bit betwixt and between here. What's amazing for me is we're in the third year of Ultimate Pool Women's Series Pool, and she's three balls away from her first Women's Series final, which, oh, and she might not get there in this visit. Uh, what I was trying to get at is I find it hard to believe that the level of player that Emma was when she came in, that she's still searching for that first final, but she's tantalising close right now. Yeah, she's one frame away, or seven minutes of keeping her opponent from winning enough frames away. So Harriet's just got to get on with this. Can't think too much about this position, she's just got to clear up. She's going to clear up a couple more times after this as well. There is still enough time. Seven minutes is plenty to win three frames, but right now it's, it's winning the three frames that looks like it might be the challenge. Oh, it's another miss. It's quite incredible. Does the red squeeze in past that yellow? Well, it looks difficult, but you said that about the last time she squeezed a ball past another ball. If not, then it's the double. Oh, I think it squeezes. Oh, just got too much of the yellow. But the yellow's gone awkward at the top of the table. This is much trickier now for Harriet than it was with her first counter clearance option. And obviously the, you know, the loss of the seconds that she missed and Emma at the table all hurt her. Hang on for the breakout now or the short position. Just by the look of well, wow, looks very tight from that angle. Maybe just get through. Just gonna have one more shot to play. Run the ball down the rail, and then it's all about the position onto the eight ball. It never looked that easy a shot from that angle. Just never really got into that. And the rep was in the way, really, because you'd love to go up the right-hand side of the table.
tries to cut it in, not to beat. Gets away with it a little bit, but Emma should just be happy to get back to the table and waste some more time. Yeah, she doesn't really mind getting involved here. A bit of a tactical game's fine. May have left the double. Or the treble, potentially. She's going to have to hit as much as she can of the thin edge of this ball. It's the double, and it lands. So a look of her break, driving the cue down into the bed of the table. The ball has gone in. Eight balls awkward. If she goes reds, more awkward. And she has gone reds and not gone far enough with her first shot. So all of a sudden this has got awkward. Straight away, wants to deal with the two at the bottom of the table and then track up. Probably a double on the eight ball would have been her plan. Is it worth continuing? I mean, is she better just getting this into a tactical frame? Because the only real way she can lose is if she goes for a clearance and leaves Harriet an easy clearance back. Yeah, she, if she goes here, she's got to get pretty deep, hasn't she? If she can pot the reds at the bare minimum... That's going to use up a, a minute, leave three. So Harriet was to counter clear. You, you're in. Yeah, well there would be enough time for a break clearance. So yeah, absolutely. I think you're right. I think the the right shot for the frame was probably required because the clearance isn't on. Doesn't even have to be a brilliant shot. It just has to be a shot that just wastes a bit of time. Makes Harriet play something. Well, good news, bad news. She hasn't left an easy pot, but she has left a pot. Are you going to be tempted, or is she going to bide a bit of time? I'm trying to make the plant. It's got to go, really. Has a very similar feel to the first semi-final now. 6-4 with the amount of time remaining. Megan actually made a brilliant clearance. Didn't get enough time for another. Emma's in good shape just to win this match outright, though. She's now got a nice angle to come up for the remaining red, and that links up nicely with the eight ball. She'd like to get it done. She doesn't really want to fall over the line here. She is starting to show signs of playing much better. In theory, just the simple stuff to do. Just run the white forward, try and leave the eight ball straight as she can. So this eight ball for the win and to book her place in the final. Oh, and it's not there. There's hope for Harriet Haynes. Needs to be a quick finish and then a break finish. Just enough time. Surely she couldn't, could she? She's going to have to go pretty quickly because otherwise she's not going to leave enough time for that break finish which she's going to need after this. She should be able to leave over a minute, which is enough. Doesn't need to play the plant here. Uh, sorry, the double here. Well, that's how confident she is with it. I thought she'd just leave that last ball, drop in the right centre and then drop that down the cushion, but now that's in. Shouldn't be a problem. This is tracking on a nice line. Yeah, and suddenly she's sped up. She's going to have plenty of time, actually. She's going to have well over a minute left. Well, what have we seen in this match? It seems like it's had everything so far. Should have been a simple 7-4 victory for Emma. That black hanging over the pocket. 6-5 now. Eight balls in, but there's no golden breaks. Don't you worry about that. The eight ball comes back up. Wouldn't you believe it? If this was a Monday night, we would be losing our minds right now. But the eight ball comes back up. And this will be classed as a dry break. Now where the balls fall, but the eight ball, which is rare. I think this is a better rule. In some other rule sets, if the eight ball's down, you just re-rack and start again. But that can be a harsh result where... You haven't posted any other balls. Yeah, there's arguments to and for both ways, isn't there? I, yeah, it, there's an argument that this shouldn't be a dry break. There's an argument that it should be. It's hard. 
it is what it is. The rules are the, what the rules are. And Emma's just got to mind her work here. Just pot a few balls. And there's no reason why she shouldn't. Yeah, it is literally that, isn't it? It doesn't really matter the pattern. She just needs to find herself a few open pots and spend 15 seconds about each one of them. Yeah. It would be unforgivable to let Harriet back to the table with any kind of meaningful time. There's just no need for it. There's three or four loose balls here. Just take them. Doesn't have to get over the line. Seven five, six five will do the job. Yeah, she's still fine here. Got one bottom right. All got the plant. This is the probably the last chance for Harriet, and I really don't see how she <laughs> she gets a chance here. But this shot has to go wrong. But it's not going to happen. This match is essentially over. And definitely a worthy winner for me. Um, Harriet made more mistakes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think Emma's been f far from her best. But Harriet has had a, a strange match. Still a good, very good weekend for her, even though she'll go home with huge disappointment, but a run-up finish and a semi-final loss. Yeah, it's been the right result. Emma has played some good stuff. She needs to improve if she's going to beat Kirsty Lee Davis in the final, but she was showing signs that she could do that as she offers a handshake to her opponent. Yeah, Emma Cunningham is in a Women's Pro Series final for the first time.